Oh shit! There's another fork. Hey Nick! We drove a little ways today. Actually, probably one of the one of the furthest drives we've taken thus far. A scenic drive. A scenic drive through the beautiful foothills of the Smoky Mountains yep. to bring us here today to the Walland Market and Deli at your request. Pretty secluded, not much out here uh, other than like mountains and streams, which is okay. That's kind of nice, I guess. Sure. But you suggested that we come here today to try the Hillbilly taco what she described it to us but she did it so fast the only thing that i caught was corn muffin so the, yeah. it, it, it has a corn muffin somewhere in it so i'm expecting this to be i'm thinking this will probably be something like a petro she That's also fun. said it was about five to six pounds of food which when she handed me the bag uh, was just a gross over exaggeration. There is okay. not five to six yeah, pounds of thought. food in there. That's so sounds like um, the scales off in there. Yeah, yeah. So if you're buying deli meat here, beware. Yeah, it's got a, a smell to it a um, that is uh, that's reminiscent of like hot garbage. It's kind of what it smells like. That's I don't judge on smells alone. They just gave us one for it. It was described as a corn muffin with some barbecue. And then taco stuff over it. Sour That's cream, what they said. Sour cream, cheese, salsa. all that good stuff. I would assume. She didn't rattle off anything that was a turnoff. No. To my record, because I think that would have stuck with me. Okay. Hey, all right. Yeah. yeah. It's a. Uh, it's. They're absolutely right. It's a bunch of taco stuff. Cheese, uh, three, three dollops of Windsor cream here. Generous dollops. Yeah. That's not like a little skimming off the top and no. then plopping it in. That's like a heaping spoonful and slop right in there. Yeah. A lot going on here. I'd like to just peel back yeah, the yeah, bottom layer. Take a look. Okay. Yeah. Look at this. A lot of, a lot of pork in there. Oh. Cornbread muffins smashed on the bottom that serves as the base of all this, as the foundation. So yeah, I uh, face value here. Feeling pretty optimistic. The first thing that I do notice is that you've got hot food that's clashing with cold food, and that's going to be a turnoff for some people. Those crunchy jalapenos are tasty. I mean, this is a substantial. How yeah. much was this? God, I got a hot jalapeno yeah. down my throat. God, I got a hot jalapeno yeah. down my throat. Not cheap. This is about seven fifty. Okay. So, um, but it is quite a bit of food. Yeah. Like I said before, you wouldn't think cornbread would be a good vehicle for something like this. But again, it's almost like it's layered over a tamale because yeah. you know tamales are wrapped in masa or oh, corn. Wow. So that's, be a good bite. that's a look at that barbecue. Is the cornbread sweet? It's not, is it? It's hard to tell. There, There is a lot going on in here, though. A lot of different textures and flavors and temperatures. It's messy. Uh, probably not wieldy. This is certainly not a, a grab-and-go sort of food, so you're going to... No. And they have tables in there. You could sit down and eat it here, which is cool. This is obviously on that upper echelon sort of premium quality food. It's not a heat lamp food. It's not a, a, you know, a roller food or anything like that. So, cooked to order, prepared to order. Your expectations are going to be a little higher because of that and that's obviously going to factor into the grade too. Yeah. Well, folks, here at Gas Station Garbage, as you well know, we rate everything on our super scientific scale of one to ten Gordon Ramsays. Maybe they don't know. Who knows? Mate, well, I had my reservations when I saw that this thing was seven dollars and fifty cents. I thought that that was a little on the pricey side mm -hmm. for a gas station food. Mm -hmm. With that said, though, we're kind of in tourist country here, mm -hmm. so. I would wager that that's more of a touristy price that you're paying for that. You're getting people that are coming up here from the city uh, to go to the mountains. So I would say that they're uh, they're catering to those folks that come up here. It's called a hillbilly taco for God's sake. I mean, you get somebody from the north that comes down here, that's just going to be kitschy as all hell for them to uh, for them to get. Oh, a hillbilly taco. A hillbilly well, that ta sounds great. <laughs> oh, you betcha. A hillbilly taco. Given the price and given the um, um, given the ingredients, you know, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go seven Gordon Ramsays here. Um, I could have eaten that whole thing. I've got to be at a dinner later, so I, I refrained. But uh, I could easily eat one of these myself if I'm ever back up this way, uh, which I will be in the future. Wouldn't hesitate to stop here and get another hillbilly taco, uh, a kitschy food at a at a premium price, uh, but surprisingly, cornbread topped with taco ingredients works. So I'll get it again. I'm calibrated to you on that. I, I would give this seven Gordon Ramsay's. Um, 
yeah, obviously you're paying a little more for this, but you're also getting what you pay for, I feel like, at the end of the day. Obviously, it's not five to six pounds of food. That's ridiculous. Uh, but it's substantial. Two people could snack on this, and this could be lunch for two people. Um, and they, one thing they did say was, if you eat this whole thing, you'll probably go home and take a nap and pass out for a while. I could see that. This is relatively heavy. A good taste. Fresh everything, yeah. pretty much. The barbecue is good. All the ingredients are fresh. So yeah, seven Gordon Ramsay's. Um, it's worth a try for sure, and maybe even worth a revisit. Keep suggesting what you would like to see us eat down in the comments below, uh, and we're more than happy to uh, to traverse out and and try to find these treats that you all keep uh, telling us to get. And of course, if you like this video, uh, thumbs up, subscribe. You know the drill. Find us on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash gas station garbage, where they're hanging out, shooting the breeze during the week. Uh, interacting with you fine folks and yeah this was uh this was an okay okay dish give it a shot for adam nick this has been uh, gas station garbage we appreciate you guys hanging with us share us with your friends and we'll uh we'll catch you guys next week later gopro keep going